Hi, my name is Neil Raker. I'm an application engineer for Xair Corporation. Today I'd like to talk to you about changing shims in a Super Air Knife. Super Air Knives are an adjustable product that allows you to change the amount of force that you generate on a target. And the manner in which you do that is by changing the shim to either a thinner or thicker setting. Xair makes available a shim set for the Super Air Knife, which consists of one each of a 1,000th amber colored shim, a 3,000th green colored shim, and a 4,000th thick tan colored shim. The shim thickness that's installed in the air knife is a 2,000th thickness and it is a red in color. The items that you'll need to perform a shim change on a super air knife will be the shims themselves, the super air knife, a hex key or Allen style wrench, and a torque wrench. The size of the hex key wrench is a 5 seconds of an inch size. For today's air knife shim change, we're going to opt to go for the 3000's green colored shim. Before we do that, we need to remove the standard 2000's shim that's inside the air knife. And to do that, we use our hex key wrench to loosen up the bolts, the button head cap screws on the super air knife body. Remove the shims, or remove the screws. Once all the screws are removed, you can lift up the cap, set it aside. That exposes the red 2000s thick shim that's inside the air knife. We'll set that aside. Grab the 3000s thick green colored shim. Set it on the air knife body and align it with the screw holes, something like that. Grab the cap and reinstall the cap on top of the shim and the air knife body. What you want to do is you want to make sure the back of the air knife cap is flush to the back of the body and also that it's flush from end to end. Once you have that, reinstall the screws, get them all started loosely. Once you have them all installed loosely, you can begin tightening down with the hex key wrench. We recommend starting from one end of the air knife and working your way down to the other side. Okay, the last step in this procedure is to take the 5/30 seconds torque wrench with five or 5/30 seconds socket. Make sure that the torque wrench is set for seven and a half foot pounds or 10.2 newton meters. You begin tightening from one end just as you did with the hex key wrench. Make sure that the wrench is seated properly all the way down inside the cap screw and you begin to tighten until you hear the torque wrench click. Click it twice. Repeat this all the way down the length of the air knife. And that is the end of the procedure. The air knife is ready to be used in its application and uh, blow them with more force with a larger or thicker shim. That concludes my presentation on how to change a super air knife shim. If you have any questions about the super air knife or any of our other products, or maybe perhaps an application, please give us a call at 1-800-903-9247 or contact us by email at techhelp at xair.com.